is for both the casual viewers and the hardcore gleeks. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 5 surprising facts about Glee. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're attempting to provide you with some unknown tidbits about everyone's favorite Glee club. You think this is hard? Try being waterboarded, that's hard! Number 5. Sue only calls Emma by her correct name during the pilot. From the very first episode of Glee, it was clear who the primary antagonist was going to be. Your resentment is delicious. Foul-mouthed, hot-tempered, and insanely vindictive, Jay Lynch's portrayal of Sue Sylvester was one that attracted plenty of attention during the show's sixth season run. One of Sue's attributes was her uncanny ability to provide anyone who crossed her path with a nickname. Well, hello, She-Hulk, Weepy the Vest Clown, Good one. and Little Miss Golden. Marmoset. This was never more apparent than during the first two seasons of the show, a stretch in which Sue only calls Emma by her correct name once. What's with all the lattes? Oh, Emma, I just felt so awful. Some monikers bestowed upon her by the coach of the cheerleading squad include Irma. Oh, well, Irma just raved about you. Arlene. No, it's simple, Arlene. Redhead. Have you and the redhead become so sexually depraved? And Elmo. William, Elmo, you. Get the hell out of my office. It wouldn't be until the third season that Sue actually calls Emma by her real name again. I'm thinking about starting a family. No, oh, how is it going with Emma? Number four, Leah Michelle had a crazy first audition. From the beginning, it was evident that Leah Michelle was a star in the making. My gold stars are a metaphor for me being a star. Perhaps that's why Glee creator Ryan Murphy wrote the role of Rachel specifically for her. My own. Yet when it came time for her to audition, things went a little haywire. On her way to the studio, Michelle got into a car accident. The young actress made it to her audition on time, albeit a little frazzled and still pulling shards of glass from her hair. If that wasn't enough, during her rendition of a tune from the musical Les Miserables, the pianist skipped a verse without informing her. <laughs> a professional through and through, Michelle demanded that they go back and do it properly, much to the amusement of the writers in the room. This is supposed to be funny, that's my serious <laughs> <laughs> Number 3. Chris Colfer auditioned for the role of Artie. It's hard to imagine anyone other than Kevin McHale playing the role of Artie. I so want to give you a standing ovation right now. He did a fantastic job of portraying the wheelchair-bound character, even if his castmates had to occasionally remind him to stop tapping his feet to the beat of the song. However, Chris Colfer originally auditioned for the role of Artie. Thank you so much. Oh God, that smell. In fact, after trying out for the role, and ultimately failing to secure it, the writers decided to create a new character specifically for him. They didn't tell me it was written for me until after I was cast. It was in this way that the role of Kirk came to fruition. Thankfully for Gleeks everywhere, the world was blessed with six awesome seasons of Kurt and Artie. You can have your dreams, oh, but you can't have me! Number 2. Cory Monteith's death changed the show's final image. On July 13, 2013, Canadian actor Cory Monteith died of a drug overdose at the age of 31. He had risen to fame playing the character of Finn Hudson on Glee. Because his character was an integral part of the show's narrative, his untimely death forced the creators to rework their original vision for how they wanted Glee to end. Initially, their plan was to have Finn, now a teacher at McKinley High, and Rachel, now a Broadway star, reunite. Due to the tragic circumstances that befell Monteith, this scene never occurred. I loved Finn. <laughs> Me and he loved all of you guys. The series ultimately ended with a group performance and one final salute to Finn Hudson. Number 1. New Directions was supposed to win regionals in Season 1. Your 2010 Midwest Regional Show Choir Champions. If you're a fan of the show, then you remember how this one played out. In an emotionally charged episode that featured the birth of a child, a declaration of love, I love you, and Olivia Newton John. New Directions unfortunately came last in the regionals competition. We didn't even place. However, this was not how the season was originally supposed to end. Because of his concern that Glee wasn't going to be picked up for a second season, showrunner Ryan Murphy had intended for New Directions to come in first place. When he learned that the second season had been approved, 
he altered the script so that the new directions would have something to strive for the next time around. Come on, we got another year! <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.